everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I want to talk about a setting in the Canon R5. It's also available in the Canon R6 and in the Canon line going as far back, 7D Mark II, maybe even further back than that. I just didn't look. Anyway, it allows you to keep a constant exposure as your aperture changes. Some of you may be aware of this feature, but a lot of my clients recently have been complaining. They're using the Canon R5 or the R6, using the RF 100 to 500, which has a variable aperture, 4.5 at 100 millimeters to 7.1 at 500 millimeters, that as they're zooming in and out, their exposure's changing. They love the lens, they love how light it is, they love the image quality they're getting from it, but they hate that their exposure changes when they're zooming in and out. But guess what? It doesn't have to happen. That's the setting I want to talk about in this video. So if you're interested in knowing more about this setting, where it is, the options that are available within the setting, hey, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into this. When does this setting apply? First, it really only applies when you're shooting in full manual. Basically, you're setting the shutter speed, aperture, and ISO yourself. So if you're in any other mode at all, or if you're set to auto ISO, this isn't gonna apply because as things change when you're zooming in and out, let's say with a zoom lens and your aperture is changing, things are are going to adapt based on the meter of the camera. So that's only going to apply when we're in manual. It also only applies when you're shooting variable aperture zoom lenses, adding or removing a TC or changing lenses to a different to a lens that has a different maximum aperture. So those are the parameters for when this setting that we're going to talk about comes into play. Let's take a look at what happens when the setting is not activated that we've been that I've been talking about here. You can see that this is on the Canon R5 with the 100 to 500 RF. And you can see the f-stop is changing as we move out, zoom out, but the shutter speed and the ISO are staying the same. So the exposure actually got brighter. If you look at the white flowers now, as we go and zoom back in, you'll see the exposure is getting darker. Compensated for a little bit because I have the viewfinder brightness set to auto, so it's gonna make some changes potentially, but I think it's pretty clear that as we zoom in and out and the F, the aperture changes, uh, the actual exposure is changing. If we go into this setting, same exposure for new aperture in the custom functions menu, custom functions to and change it to shutter speed TV and we'll take a look at what happens. So now as we start zooming out and the f-stop the aperture changes you can see that the shutter speed is getting faster to compensate and keep the exposure the same and that is really really awesome as far as I'm concerned. So that's one of the settings is to set this same exposure for a change in aperture to change the shutter speed. So now we can go back into the menu and there's some other options that we can change other than just having it change the shutter speed. Sometimes we don't want it to change the shutter speed. We'd rather have it change, let's say, the ISO speed. So set it to ISO. And now we can see that as the aperture changes, as we pull back, shutter speed's now staying the same, but the ISO is decreasing to compensate for the more wide open aperture as we fall, as we pull back. The third option is to have it change ISO 
or shutter speed, TV, time value. Now you're going to see that it's going to change the ISO and it's not going to touch the shutter speed. But if you had a minimum or maximum value set for shutter speed or ISO and the camera was going to try to basically have to violate that to keep your exposure correct, let's say for ISO, it would start changing the shutter speed instead. But here I don't have any of those minimum or maximum uh, values set for ISO or or the um, shutter speed, so it was still just changing the ISO, which has first priority. So that's the setting. Same exposure for a new aperture, and demonstrated it here in the Canon R5, but the R6, and going back in the Canon line all the way back at least to the 7D Mark II. Although I think the 7D Mark II didn't have the ISO TV uh, combination selection available to you, but it's there, and I'm sure other brands such as Sony and Nikon have a similar setting in those cameras. So if you think it's useful, go ahead and give it a try. And if you think this channel is useful to you, please subscribe. It's what keeps me uh, going with uh, doing these YouTube videos. And so until next time, Get out there, take some great images, and I'll see you soon.